So before accepting the offer to study at our university, uh, my future was looking quite different than how it ended up now five years later. I don't know where the time went. Um, I had just been offered a scholarship to join the student trainee program at Joffrey Ballet School in Florence, Italy. Um, and that was following a summer spent dancing with the company in New York City. So for years, I thought my life would be dedicated to the arts and only the arts, um, even though I knew I wanted to hone more skills than simply my artistic ones. So prior to my infatuation with dance, for years I thought I would be a concert pianist, um, and that was following in the footsteps of my aunt and also my father's mother, who was fourth in line to Chopin. But with that came the passion for art and drawing and painting, you name it. But at the same time, I have always had this deep passion for the sciences, but I just hadn't explored that passion yet. So I say all this for no other reason than to just explain how conflicted and uncertain I and especially those around me were for my future and what of these seemingly unrelated subjects I would finally settle on for my career. So I declined the offer with Joffrey Ballet School as that world is um, in its essence toxic and began turning my love for art and music into passion and hobby instead of vocation. So I settled on going to college, um, though at first I must say I was skeptical of this new world. Uh, that's why I was laughing, Carter. Um, once at UofL, I remember jumping from an early morning philosophy class um, to a course on cancer biology, and from there a course on American literature, only to finish off my afternoon with a chemistry lab. So walking to my car every day after class with my safety goggle mark still imprinted on my forehead and cheeks, I remember looking around the Dell and thinking, this is freedom. And this is freedom because no one was actually forcing me to choose one path. Freedom because there's no such thing as true linearity. Um, freedom because I felt this sort of cosmic collision of diverse academic tracks merge into one. Um, freedom because I felt and I was told from my professors that my diverse interests were not a disadvantage, but aspects of myself that I can integrate into whatever subject it may be that I settle on in the future. So to have one's brain stimulated in all different aspects throughout the day is truly a priceless experience that I believe not enough students are afforded. Um, and this is the beauty of a liberal arts school, to awaken the dormant or latent passions within. Um, furthermore, I, I come from a place of diversity, of multiculturalism, a bilingual Iranian-American household where many times I felt I had some sort of duty to speak up and educate others about um, issues that were maybe not known or, you know, practiced to them. So when I voiced my concerns for advancing our diversity training on campus, and our approach to public health issues such as sexual and gender-based violence um, issues, I was met with so much enthusiasm. And similarly, I had the opportunity to work both as a past leader for my fellow science majors, as well as serve as the editor-in-chief of our literary magazine for a few years. And I believe that as a result of being a liberal arts school, students like myself, who have a drive to be advocates for causes that mean very much to us, or who have multiple passions, that we want to explore simultaneously, regardless of our field of study, are met with open arms and open hearts because diversity, cultural acceptance, and varied views are what strengthens us as a community. This we know. Um, so not only are the professors at U of L exceptional in some of the closest and most cherished relationships I have made to this day but I am just eternally grateful for the experiences in general that this university has afforded me, as well as a new perspective on how to view my own life and career. Um, now I'm in the process of applying to a graduate and maybe a few PhD programs in public health and look forward to dedicating my life to just advocate for the rights of all and the equity of all. Um, as of now, 
I'm just working with a nonprofit organization, Legacy International, on State Department funded grants, and I do international training for youth in the MENA region in Central Asian countries um, on public health issues and UN sustainable development goal issues. Um, and I work as a high school art and biology teacher in my free time. I still do art on the side, I still do creative writing, I still play and compose music, and I hope to release an album sometime soon in the future. But thanks to our university and the tools and the confidence it has afforded me with, I no longer feel conflicted or held back. Um, instead, I see that my passions, no matter how seemingly unrelated, are what strengthens us you know, as a community, uh, personally as a person, a student, a citizen, not the other way around. And that's how I used to see it. So this, because of you and our community, I know to be true.